you know, even my own kind of entrepreneurial professional journey uh, has been a, a lot of like looking, looking deeply at things and trying to understand like, well, you know, how can you do this in a way that doesn't, uh, isn't really degenerative, is regenerative in the impact that you can have? How can you do business in such a way where you create a lot more value for the world than you actually take from it? And so these things, as I mentioned, what led me to begin to explore some of these things was um, a feeling of disconnection that I was feeling. So a lot of what you guys were saying was resonating. I was not like, you know, I wasn't talking to myself and <laughs> having the mind talk. I had a loving family and friends and really supportive, wonderful world. But I felt, I don't know, somehow separate from, from nature, from community, from people. And the... But what was so profound about that is that it felt very unnatural to me. That it felt actually that we were also building a world that was perpetually separating itself. And the stories and the constructs and the way we did business and the way that we think about nature and all of these things were a separate, separate beings from that. And it felt that that wasn't actually our natural state. That our natural state is one of, of connection and um, interdependence. And so... You know, what I kept seeing when I was uh, reading E.F. Schumacher um, was both this idea of, of community and connection being what, what really matters and, you know, human scale economies and what those look like. Um, and I also kept seeing Etsy in this a lot too, right? You know, you think about um, a lot of what's challenging with the world today. It's this, um, you know, these these brittle concentrations of, of, of power and resources, rather than thinking about kind of, you know, like an ecosystem which is lateral, broad, spread out, you know, a big number of small things versus a small number of very big things. And that was like, that was Etsy to me, right? There was just this, we were just a platform to allow, you know, millions of these small things, small businesses to flourish. You know, um, let's just, there's no place to sell things online, let's sell handmade stuff online. Like that was as kind of deep as our social mission one at that time. But when we started to, to meet lots and lots of sellers, and this was, you know, our marketing strategy was the same approach that I took with the band. It was going town to town, it was building up a community of people. It was creating communities of, of people who are bound by their love of making things. Really and just starting out on and probably will never stop being on. Um, but what's very interesting to me is that I found these two things have, um, they're not split apart. That actually it's not like this idea of I've got work and then I've got my spiritual life or my personal life over here. They're all very intertwined. And I'm the same person um, when I'm at work. And, and I'm, I'm not going to get it exactly right. But so the key question will change uh, from whether the economy uh, produces an ever larger pile of stuff or whether it builds and undermines community. For community, uh, it turns out, is the key to survival in our environmental predicament, uh, but also to um, human satisfaction. And um, that really all of a sudden was like a light bulb movement for me. It was like, okay, reimagine commerce, produce community instead of stuff. That's that, right?